I first came to Honduras uh, after Hurricane Mitch struck the coast and rained in the mountains for about a week and washed away many of the farms and the people and their crops and they were even their dirt I mean, they were dirt poor before the hurricane and then it washed away their dirt so when I first came it was really just uh, very basic relief there are a lot of sick people lots of kids with pneumonia and uh, the situation was pretty bad. Over the years, we've been able to see people reestablish their farms, um, reestablish their crops and their cows, and now they actually have a cash crop that they can sell and improve their lives. And in general, the people are still really poor, but they have a reasonable quality of life. ¿Y tiene dos horas montado a su casa? Ok. Ah, descansa poco con su pierna arriba y voy a buscar antibióticos. But if we can get all this and keep it open, if he can understand our instructions well enough and follow them, it should heal up pretty well. I'll go ahead and treat him with some antibiotics just because it's so deep. Today, yeah, poco de esto pomada. Esta pomada la va a poner, se va a lavar primero. Lentamente. One connection that I really didn't understand till I was there, many of the campesinos talked about how after Hurricane Mitch, the economy of the whole country was so much worse, they had less choice. And one of their options to survive was to go to the jungle, to leave the cities, cut down some trees, make some land, make a family. Uh, again, not really many other choices. So if we can provide some economic support, some education about other ways that they can survive, uh, maybe plantations of cacao or the caoba tree or other things that I don't know of, then again, they'll be making better choices, they'll be having better lives and we'll have a better planet. Aquí, todo esto, todo esto son cojines florales ya, mire. Todo aquí por las ramitas que ya viene, todo eso sí. Yo me siento, puedo decir que motivado con el proyecto de cacao, porque una, esto nos ha venido a, a reducir bastante. Esto no, 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 nos lleva a que por lo menos reforestamos el nuestro parque nacional a la vez de que vamos a tener un, un, un ingreso con el, con el cacao. Entonces nosotros esto nos ayuda porque de repente con este ingreso nosotros ya no tenemos cómo ir a molestar el bosque, sino que más bien reforestar. Esto para mí por lo menos es la expectativa mía que yo tengo, que es un beneficio para nosotros los que vivimos dentro del parque. Tanto como las señoras que son productoras, ellas ya han venido a, la, a, las, ¿cómo se llama? a las zonas de aprendizaje, Llevan, llevan ese conocimiento. Aparte de las que tal vez no han podido venir, pues se les transmite el, el mensaje. Sí, pero esto no, nos, no, nos lleva, como le dijera, a, a un avance con las mujeres también, porque así no, nos agrupamos, tanto como nosotros lo, los varones, las mujeres y los niños. Para mí esto es bastante bueno. Over these last 12 years of coming here doing medical work. Initially, I really just focused on the medical part, just providing medical care to the people. I worked together with an organization that was trying to preserve the rainforest, and I, at the beginning, didn't see how these would be connected. But it became clear that by working together, the local people receiving medicine, and trusting this organization then accepted more the advice of the association patuka i couldn't do my work without them and i think they have been able to do their work more easily because of the medical camps as i come and provide medical care to the people <laughs> Son las 9 con 52 minutos y ahora vamos a complacer 12 ¿Cuántos niños tienen? Eh, 
¿Cuántos ¿Ah? nietos tienen? Es más fácil para el traidor. I'm always struck by how unusual it is, or what luck it is, that I happen to be there at a certain time. Um, there's a young boy that a few days before was just running and put his foot into a stick and had a horrible infection in his foot, and I was able to take out this big piece of wood from his foot and save a horrible infection, and maybe you, know, you could die from something like that. It's so simple. But just by being there at that time, I was able to remove it, get him some antibiotics, take good care of it, and uh, he should be fine. So as I finished my trip to the Patuca, we treated two or three thousand people in about 12 different communities. We walked through jungle that had, was beautiful native jungle with many animals and we walked through areas that had been cut down and burned. As I finish all this and put it together in my mind, I'm struck by how everything is connected and how providing health care for women and children and education for the Capucinos, helping them come together as a community gives them more choices. And when they have more choices, they make better choices. I hope uh, that'll help their health, help the health of the planet and everybody on it.